How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flare Bartending Tips. And today, I'm gonna to be teaching you the one, two, three, four, four moves, the only four moves you need to look like a super deluxe, awesome, massive, professional flare bartender. I'm gonna show you how to do these moves. They are super simple. It's the very basic moves within the flare genre. And they they're also can be incorporated into pretty much anything that you see behind the bar. Tom Dyer! So I'm gonna show you those four moves, how you can upgrade them, change them, and use them when making cocktails. But before we go any further, don't forget to go down and hit that like button. Let me know that you like this video so I can make more videos just like this. And if you are new, I have started a Patreon account. It's basically where you can support me and you can get behind the scenes content. Uh, I'm offering one-on-one -on -one training once per month, which is, I think is at 30 uh, euros per month. You can sign up for one month, take the, the half an hour session and then unsubscribe if you really want to. Uh, and there's gonna be loads of other bonus content which is on the Patreon account as well. So go check that out. There's loads of links in the description. So scroll down and check those out as well. Let me show you those four moves. The first one is a behind the back. You may be saying, we've seen these before, Tom. Yes, you have, but I'm gonna show you how that one move can develop into loads more. We've also got behind the head. We've also got the thumb roll, and we've got the palm spin. Now, I'm gonna show you a very quick sequence using all four of those. Thumb roll, behind the head, thumb roll, palm spin, down. Now, those four moves, and you've made a sequence already. So first of all, the thumb roll can be performed very simply with the tin this way up or with the tin this way up. I find it easier when the tin is this way up. And all you're doing is you're basically pushing the base of the shaker up, okay? And you're letting it roll around your thumb, okay? Hence the name thumb roll. Now, you can also do it backwards where you push the base of the shaker and let it drop down around your thumb and you catch it in your hands, right? So to do this one, the best way is to just push the base and let it drop down around your thumb and land in your hand. And then when you get more confident, you'll want to catch it with the other hand. You can try and do it upwards and you can turn upside down and do the same way. So every time you come to pick up a shaker, you can perform a thumb roll. And of course, you should do it with the other hand as well. Behind the back, behind the back, you wanna lift the shaker up. I'll just turn this way a little bit. You can kind of get the idea of what's going on, okay? And you're gonna just pass it back like this. If it does spin a little bit, you may find it even easier. But you're literally just lifting it by the tips of my fingers and pushing it up slightly Okay, so I'm not throwing it to my back, I'm literally just pushing it up because as I lift my hand up and push, the momentum of my hand moving backwards and the push will let the shaker gently fly back past my shoulder. And as I let go, I move my shoulder forwards just a touch and my other hand is behind my back with the palm facing up, okay? And I move my shoulder forwards and I catch it in my hand. Right, the third one, the behind the head. Okay, very underrated move. We don't see it very much in flair, but it was a move which I learned very, very early on in my flair career. And it's a very simple move to do. You just gotta get over the fear of throwing something next to your head. Okay, so the way that you do this is, you're gonna hold the, the shaker in a beer grab, like this, okay? With the palm facing up, the shaker towards you. And you're just gonna place it behind your head, into your hand. So the other hand's gonna come up here, just place it in your hand for now so you can get used to that shaker 
coming up past your ear. And as you get more confident, you'll start to just throw it to your hand until you get more confident. That throw will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And, but as you get better, you can then start throwing spins into it. So normally your shake will be on the bar top this way. You hold it near the base and you want to do just half a spin to behind your head. Okay. Uh, and you can even start by bringing your hand forwards and throwing it to your hand here. Then move, hand, move your hand back a little bit and throw it to there, a bit more, throw it to there, a bit more, throw it to there, a bit more, throw it to there, until you get to the point where it's all the way behind your head like this. Okay, and the final move was the palm spin. Another very underrated move, uh, which can be used in many variations to upgrade a, a sequence, change a sequence, add another dynamic to a sequence. And it's literally just with the shaker, you're holding the shaker in the palm of your hand and you wanna give a flick of the wrist like this, but as you flick to there, you open your palm up as quickly as you can and the tin will spin around. Normally my tin spins on this knuckle, okay? It spins around like this and when it comes all the way, you grab it. You can start by doing half spins if you feel more confident to do half spins to begin with, but as you get better, you can do full rotations and if you get much better, you can try and do doubles or triples. Much more difficult. Oof, that was about two and a half. So how do we incorporate those into our bartending? So let's take the jigger, for example. This is the Grail jigger. This is my uh, flare uh, jigger device. Uh, you can get this from my website, tomdiebartender.com. And uh, it measures measurements from 10 mils all the way up to 50 mils in five mil increments. Yes, it does. So. First of all, the palm spin, very difficult with the grail, so we can disregard that one for this one. But behind the back, we can do. Behind the head, you can do. But more importantly, the thumb roll. So thumb roll up with right hand, thumb roll up with the left. So if you're gonna to come to use your jig and you're using the thumb roll, you can pick it up with the thumb roll, make your paw, and pour into the shaker and you can even add another thumb, thumb roll afterwards. You can even add it into sequences so that it adds a little bit more dynamicism. Is that a word? Probably not. So you can do like a finger twist, down, thumb roll, and then you can come and make your pour. All right, let's look at some of the other items that we've got behind our bar, our strainer, behind the head, behind the back and you can do a helicopter with the strainer from behind the back on this one. Uh, if you're gonna do a tin on tin, that's the double thumb roll. Okay, double thumb roll, place it together, put your ice in and then you can start making your cocktail. Now imagine I've made my cocktail in here, I can get rid of the ice, come up behind my head, scoop more ice, boom, boom, palm spin, and I can shake. The scoop is a great palm spin device because especially if you have one like this, okay, with like a, a bowl on the, on the base, because it can just spin on your hand for days. Of course, you can then start using it with bottles behind the back and come to pour uh, behind the head. That's from the same hand to the same hand. So if your shaker is in place, you can utilize the behind the back and the behind the head with both objects. So with the shaker, I'm gonna go behind my back Boom. And with the bottle, I'm gonna come up behind my head. Okay, and then I can do a little twist, make a pour, and then I can continue making my cocktail. Uh, you can even utilize both of those moves, both of the same move. So behind the back, and then behind the back into the shaker, and then you can come and make your pour. You can do uh, a behind the head with the tin, and then another behind the head with the bottle, uh, and then you can come and make your pour as well. You can also incorporate a behind the head and the behind the back. So 
behind the head, around, drop, behind the back, and then you can come and make your pull. So you can almost do a full sequence, or you can, with those four moves. The palm spin, the thumb roll, behind the head, and behind the back. So, behind the back, thumb roll, behind the head, place it down. Bottle, behind the back, thumb roll, behind the back again, behind the head, thumb roll, pick up both items. There's a double with the palm spin over here and a thumb roll here, I'll show you again. Okay, behind the back, palm spin, behind the head, behind the head, and then you can come and pour. That was something very simple I just put together right now, but you get the idea how those moves can incorporate into sequences super well and super easily. So learn how to do those moves, learn the basics of them, do it with the right hand, do it with the left hand, try it with all the different items that you have behind your bar. And remember, the world is your oyster, or the bar is your oyster when it comes to flair. Don't be afraid to try and do stuff with everything that you have in front of you. Uh, and let me know what you think about this video. Did you like it? Do you wanna see more stuff like this? Um, is there anything else you wanna see? in terms of flair moves and ideas that you can use behind the bar when making cocktails. If you did like it, please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because if you did make it this far, there's a lot of people watching this who haven't subscribed to the channel. And that's okay, no problems whatsoever. But if you wanna go down and hit subscribe, click on the bell for notifications so you can be notified every time I upload more videos just like this one. And thank you very much for watching all the way until the end. Until next time, see you then.